Hi, I'm Susan Kellner of the Ontario Pesticide Education Program. I want to review Chapter 15 with you, How to Dispose of Pesticides at Pesticide Containers Safely, that's in the Grower Pesticide Safety Course Manual. There are 10 slides in this presentation, and it will take us about five minutes to review. What will I learn? By the end of this lesson, you should be ready to List the three steps to properly recycle empty pesticide containers. Describe how to dispose of different types of pesticide containers. Describe the steps you must take to dispose of surplus pesticides, obsolete pesticides that is, and spray mix. There are three things you may need to dispose of. The empty containers, the surplus spray mix, and pesticides you no longer use. So for container recycling, we have Clean Farms, and they have an extensive program that goes nationwide. Go to their website for information and to learn about their programs. They have a recycling program for small jugs, 23 liters or less, totes and drums, whether they're non-deposit or deposit totes, and pesticide bags and seed bags. So, small jugs and containers. Empty containers still contain about 1% of the pesticide. So, step number one, rinse. And the idea is to triple rinse. We're going to do this three times. We want to fill the jug 10% full of water. We want to shake and roll that jug to loosen it from the outside, any pesticides, and then put those pesticides back into the spray tank when we're filling the tank. The second step is to remove the booklet and the cap. So those things are not accepted at the Clean Farms recycling sites. So you're just going to return the jug without the cap and without the booklet. And number three, you want to return them to the collection site. Now, if you're not exactly sure where a collection site is for you, they are listed on the Clean Farms website and you can go there and find the one that is closest to you. Of course, your pesticide retailer will know where that is. Best practices, a way to rinse, uh, the triple rinse can be done with jet rinsing devices. They are effective well maybe take less time than triple rinsing so rinse for at least 30 seconds with a jet rinser and uh, they will poke a hole into the jug so they're making it unusable and um, make a hole in the container even if you're not using a jet rinser um, so that no one can reuse it you'll be guaranteed that uh, no other liquids are going in there for any other purpose so the Ontario Pesticide Container Recycling Program by Clean Farms is uh, what you need to look at online. Clean Farm ex accepts the triple rinse plastic and metal containers for recycling at over 200 sites. It's at no cost to farmers and they uh, recycle them into other items for use. The totes and drums are accepted. Now totes and drums are anything between 50 liters to 1000 liters. So you, you would ret return your drain triple rinse totes to the place you bought them. And uh, deposit totes and drums. These are refilled with the same liquids, so there would be no need to rinse those to take them back to the place you bought them. The pesticide bags and seed bags, to handle those, you would pick up a recycling bag from your retailer Make sure the bags are completely empty before you put them into that recycling bag and uh, place, place them in the recycling bag and return to the collection site. So it's good to have pesticide bags and seed bags included now by Clean Farms. The next thing we're going to talk about is the disposal of surplus spray mix. So you apply the surplus spray mix to another crop that's on the label would be an acceptable way to do that if you got anything left over in the spray tank. Or you could also respray the field um, with diluted spray mix. So you're going to dilute what's left over with 10 parts water and one part spray mix and respray the field. Apply only to crops that are named on the label. You don't want to damage crops um, 
or leave harmful illegal residues on a crop or in the soil. Obsolete collection days are offered free to farmers every three years. That will be in the fall, usually September, October, and uh, it varies by province. So every three years in Ontario, disposal of those surplus pesticides that you no longer want or use. If you can't um, tap into the obsolete pesticide collection days for your area, you want to uh, get rid of them before that day happens, uh, environmental waste haulers will look after them for you, so contact a waste removal company for um, that is in your area. You might want to contact your municipality. Hazardous waste disposal is different in each municipality and you can ask how you can dispose of your leftover pesticides in your municipality.